get out of here as well. Today I got this set top box on my grandma's. Turns out, well, you might think it's a set top box, but it's actually a digital satellite receiver. Five years I had it for, I think. Might be quite there. Uh, yeah, yeah about, about five years. Five years um using it. Provided by their yeah, their Italian channel. Cause they um yeah they watch the Italian channel in Italy. Five years flat, never turned off. Been pretty reliable, but recently it started doing weird things and the display started flickering and uh, you have to reset it from the switch to get it to come on and come normal again, so and it stopped working all together, so that tells me it's capacitors. So, and this is a box to their new model, which has USB recording. Got a USB stick in the side that goes in the side, so I'm going to pull this thing apart and see uh, how much caps are these in the pot. So, my guess the power supply ones would be the worst condition. So, they, they do put crappy caps in these, especially the set top boxes. You pay $30 for a set top box, and I last you a couple of years. Capacitors in there, not the last one of this. So let's get this thing opened up. Use F connections from the satellite. It's not gonna, um, it's uh, only picks of free to air satellite stuff, not cable satellite, so it's only a free to air receiver, but yeah, might be worth fixing up. Yeah. The supplier doesn't repair these, so I just got a new one, cost them a hundred bucks. So I'm out to charge, how much I would charge to fix this one. It's not worth it, so I just bought another one for a hundred bucks and be done with it. So I'm going to fix this one and use it for ourselves. I just don't have a satellite thing, I might just keep it as a spare form or something on like that. In case the new one ever goes bad. Get this thing opened up. Oh dear. The main filter caps take it a dump. It's a, I can't see you, it's a C-A-P-X-O-N. 68 microfarad, 450 volt. Ah. I've got all those replacements except the ones for those main filter caps. So I can replace these little ones but not that one there. And this is what she looks like inside. Another tiny pathetic heat sink on the north bridge. Here's the RF modulator. Should be a date. 28th week of 2005. So this thing is a 2005 it was made. There's all this generic stuff. Capacitors in here are okay. Zero three, uh, two thousand and three, two thousand and four. Painting and designs in here, but that main filter capacitor is taking the dump. So I'm going to have to get a replacement for that. These seem to be okay, though. So I always thought these would have been popped. They are Jamaican caps, but yeah. Look carefully. Yeah, you should pop this. There, the top is going to pop. Let's plug it in and power point and see what she does. If the display lights up, then I might just get a couple of good tests out of it. If not, then that's going to have to be replaced. But yeah, she's gone. Hmm. I might have a replacement for that second hand though, but I don't recommend using second hand stuff. But just to get this going, if it works, it works. So yeah, let's give it a quick plug in and see what she does. Okay, if you to give it a quick couple of short second bursts, that buzzed like crazy. I switched it off straight away and that was quite hot, so likely that did not pop. That's a Fairchild um, transistor from the switch mode part of the power supply on the primary side of the transformer. So that's gone to short, overloading that transistor, so I've got to replace that before even turning this thing on ever again to save that from going pop, so otherwise I have to replace more than what I have to, so that's going to have to be replaced. It is warm too, so it's it's short. It's gone short, so it's a good thing I didn't pop that um, MOSFET there. Otherwise, would have been a bit more um, of a repair job, but yeah. I'll see if I get a replace of that cap, so 
it's going to be before video, so these are just all low voltage caps. Here's a little um, Japanese Nichicon, Rubicon. Uh, you know the chemical, they've got good stuff in there, but I don't, they, what they've got in there should replace all these little ones if these actually are bad. I don't have a um, capacity, uh, capacitor, capa uh, what do you call it? Buddy capacitance meter or capacitor tester. But yeah, I'm gonna dig over and see if I've got a replacement for that capacitor. Got a couple of junked, um, moderately new reprojection TV boards. See if I've got any capacitors that replace that one. There are, there are um, only Korean ones, but a bit better than that one there. So yeah, it's a 450 volt 68 microfarad. See what I can find. So for now, thanks for watching.